For this magic trick, all you need is a cup that can hold thick water, a thick water cup, a normal 3x5 card, and a thick water maker. This pitcher is indeed a thick water maker. All you have to do to make the thick water in here is pump the pitcher five times. Go ahead and uh, just pump it up and down five, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now, if the, pitch, if the thick water maker worked, we should have indeed made some thick water. Let's try and see if it worked. We'll put it in our thick water holder, our glass here. Pour it in the glass. So we put our 3x5 over it so we don't contaminate the thick water. As we do that, we will then turn it over, and the thick water should stay in the glass without even falling out. Simply amazing, you say? No. It's thick water. It's thick water. Definitely thick water. Now, this trick is definitely a very simple one that's easily, easy to do. I uh, just need a 3x5 card, a cup and some water in a pitcher, and come up with any kind of storyline you'd like to come up with. Uh, for this one, simply the, the suction of the air is what causes the water to stay in, just simply putting the 3x5 card over the glass, turning it upside down, it will actually hold in there, and pretty solid too. But of course, if you hit it too hard, yeah, you can hold that. If you wiggle it too hard, it will come out. Mm. Very simple trick that will definitely amuse simple minds. Stephanie, for our next trick, we showed you the thick water. We'd like to show you some thick air. You can actually buy thick air and have it in a cup. Now, thick air is very different from normal air. See, thick air goes up. You have to have something upside down in order to hold it. Inside this, I have some thick air. There's some thick air inside of here. I'm going to drink this thick air and then blow it inside the balloon. Remember, you've got to keep the thick air up, so I've got to blow up in it. And the thick air, it should cause the balloon not to deflate. Let's try it. I'm going to drink this thick air. And it should stay in there, just like that. Didn't even have to tie the balloon or anything. The, the thickness of the air caused it to stay inside of the balloon. However, thick air, it's not all that good because if you add regular air to thick air, it totally destroys it. You can add regular air and the thick air will all go out. <laughs> now, this is a very simple trick, Stephanie. Would you like to learn how to do this trick? Are you sure? Okay, I'm going to show you how simple this trick is. What you need is a regular balloon. You can use a glass for thick air, which actually has regular air in it. But we're going to call it thick air. And what you need inside the balloon beforehand is a marble. There was a marble inside the balloon, but you didn't know about that, did you? So you put the marble inside the balloon. Then when you blow it up, you blow it up. Uphill, of course, because thick air has to go up. And the marble is actually stuck right there inside the balloon. So if we were to make the marble go out, now the marble's rolling around in there, and the balloon is able to deflate. That's how simple it is. You know, magic tricks can be very deceiving. There's a lot of card tricks that can be deceiving. You'll notice we are using the optional UNO card for these tricks. In my cards, in my hand, Stephanie, I hold two cards. I have a green one right here, and on the other side, I have a yellow seven. Two cards, right? Yellow seven right there, and on the other side, the other side, I got the green one, okay? Now, I'm going to put one of these cards behind my back, all right? I'm going to put one of them behind my back. Now, which card did I just put behind my back? No, no, you weren't watching. See, I put the yellow seven behind my back. You got to watch carefully, okay? Let's try this again. Two cards, the yellow seven and the green one. Okay? Green one, yellow seven. Now, I'm going to put one of these cards behind my back. Tell me, which card did I put behind my back? The yellow seven. No, I'm telling you, Stephanie, you got to watch because I put the green one behind my back. You got to watch carefully, Stephanie, okay? Two cards. That's all there is, is two cards. One is a green one, 
The other one is the yellow seven. Okay? Now, which card am I putting behind my back? Did you watch close? Watch close. Which card am I putting behind my back? The green one. The green one? No, you weren't watching. Watch carefully. Which card did I just am I putting behind my back? Which, which one did I just put back there? The yellow seven. Well, actually, it was the green one. See, you can always fool somebody with card tricks. Now, how'd you like to see how to do it? Always. You would like to see how to do it? I think we're going to have to show you guys how to do it. This trick is very simple. You just simply take any cards you would like, and you get some rubber cement, and you actually glue two faces of the card together. So you have a front and back, both of them, uno. Then, on the other card, you glue the backs together so that it is uh, a face card each time you flip it. That's the simple way you do it. And then, there's a little technique here you got to use. You set the green one right like that. Then, if you were to just flip it over, they would know that it's not right. So what you do is, as you flip it, you simply twist it like that it, with your thumb. So it looks like it's on the other side. Then when you flip it back, you twist back to the green one. But when you do it fast, you tell them, I have a green one and a yellow seven. So when you're doing it fast, you got the yellow seven and the green one. Then when you put it behind your back, all you do is simply turn it around so that when you bring it out, they look like they were wrong. And they wonder how they could have missed it. Then you do it again. You say, well, which one am I putting behind my back? Do it again, and they still missed it. No matter what, you can always make them miss it with that simple trick. Pretty easy, huh? For our next trick, we are going to use a dollar bill and another card. Just pick any card. Go ahead and well, let me use a different card. Go ahead and... Look at that card. Make sure that that's a normal card, no holes in it or anything. It's just a normal card, isn't it? No, it's not glued together. And that's a normal dollar bill, just a normal dollar. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this card. I'm going to fold it in half like this. Okay. And I am going to draw a bullseye. I'm also going to fold this dollar bill in half. It's kind of a beat up dollar bill, but. Kids love it when you use money for the, for the uh, displays and things. And I'm going to actually draw a bullseye on this eight right here. I am going to try. There we go. I'm going to try, and I'm also going to draw a bullseye right here on George Washington. Aww. I'm going to draw on George. hope that's all right. We have drawn a bullseye. Now I am going to attempt to stick a pencil through... George Washington and through the card at the same time. Hit both bullseyes, all right? This will show you the power of prayer. I'm going to fold the card in half. Then I fold George in half, or the dollar bill. And I'm going to fold it back a quarter just so that you can see that the pencil actually goes through the dollar. All right, we set that in there. Again, it's just folded up and set in there. Trying to line up the bullseyes is what I'm doing. I got this bullseye here, lining up that bullseye right on top, folding it over, making a crease so that I can shove the pencil through. And I'm going to attempt, Stephanie, to shove this right through. It's right there in between the dollar and, and the card. And I'm going to attempt, using the table to push down here, to shove it through both the dollar and the card. There's no doubt about that. That is in there, isn't it? Okay. Go ahead and even pull that out for me, Stephanie. Jerk that out of there. There we go. Now, that definitely went through, didn't it? There's no